Hey you, you got something to protect? Big screen TV? Family? Always wanted a way to make sure that you were safe in your own home? Yeah, sure, step one is an alarm system. Makes the siren go off. It's a great first start. But what really happens? Makes a lot of noise and makes the intruder thinking about leaving, but yeah, they kind of sort of call the police and maybe the police show up an hour later, maybe. Doesn't help you in the short term, usually. And certainly does nothing to catch the guy later, especially if they only took a little bit and the police don't really care. What you need is to catch him on camera. Huge deterrent. Number one, make noise. Alarm system, good start. Number two, make sure that the intruder knows that they are on camera. They aren't going to hang around and they aren't going to do anything if they know they're on camera. Step one, get him on camera. Really, I had to tell you that? Step one, get him on camera? How do we do that? If we talked about this five years ago, the systems that were available were kludgy, remote access really wasn't there. Um, the picture quality was so bad that it really wasn't even hardly admissible in court. You know, you show the blob lurking around your house, but you can't tell who it is. Things have changed and it's time to take a look at what does it take to get one of these systems in your house, number one for uh, protecting your family and you know intruders and that sort of thing, and number two, to keep track of what's going on around your house. Who's at the front door? Are the kids safe on the trampoline? Uh, who's lurking around the back door? Just monitoring the kids and figuring out what's going on in your own home. Huge advantage for any sized home. Let's take a look at how to do that. Hooking it up is really straightforward. Uh, like you saw a minute ago, you might need an adapter if you have a BNC and uh, the camera is actually RCA. So whatever wire it is that comes from where the camera is, you plug into the DVR, and then each camera, uh, depending on the model, usually has a video, an audio, and a power. So if we plug video into the DVR, you can plug audio into the audio input of the DVR to catch audio on at least one channel. Most of them have one channel. Um, power, my recommendation is run the wires and power them all from wherever your DVR is. It keeps noise and uh, is power issues down uh, to a minimum throughout the system. You can power a few locally if you need to, if you're like sharing a coax wire or something to uh, get the video back to the DVR, but generally try to power them all down, quote unquote, in the basement where your DVR is. So hookup is very simple. This one is ready to go.